need to think this through. Um, oops. I don't honestly know. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not gonna work. Where's my books? Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, circle must be further secured by barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. Circle thus protected shall stand as a sure and inescapable prison. By barrier in the form of lit candle. Okay, so I don't know where that means it goes. No ruptures. Slime must be drunk. What's this one then? Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Don't stay. Uh, smudge the line. Circle must be further secured by barrier. Okay, so it needs to be a barrier. All right. I guess I could just Let's try this again. Trial and error this shit. <laughs> uh, surrounding on the circle surrounding. How about this? Come back. We must talk. Oh, I guess that did work. Go Yay. away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Damn, dude. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. Jesus. The fuck is going on? Oh. Spell must I use, damn it. I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon it. Damn it. Fire. In here, equipment. The vines. That's the vines. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, I gotta escape. <laughs> I was gonna try and put the fire out. <laughs> Bitch. Shit. This isn't going well for me. Where do I go, bro? Oh shit, that's not what I want to do. But... What the fuck? Where do I go, man? I can't use my Witcher senses. Okay, it's showing me to go here, but where? Oh, right here. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I almost died. <laughs> Quickly put that on in case I have to bite. Iris and her father. Dread. 
drained to the last drop. Kill his quacks giver when he come back. Come back to him. Well, he did say. He did say that we won't be able to drink after this because if I succeed, Old Gear will be gone, and if I fail, I'll be gone. Dear Tinker. So yeah, I, it's either him. gonna end the curse, or it's gonna like end the curse that's on Old Gear or 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 something. I don't know. Between Iris and Old Gear. So this is when he started smoking. Not quite. Memory's still incomplete. Yeah, I get it. It's because he needs his fucking beer bottle, dude. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. <laughs> Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. Wow. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Whoa. Enough. You will not command us. You will. Father. Father. No. Jesus. Well, he killed that Servants, dude really easy. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Wow. That's kind of fucked up, dude. That's kind of fucked up. Not gonna lie. Cease to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Well, it's kind of fucked up, isn't it? Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna kill you, fucking little baby back. Bitch! Oh shit! Whoops, my bad. I forget that I can do that. Oh, it's his caretaker. Remember, guy. we spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. Animal you do the rest. Claw scratches. What? Huh? Eh? What's this? Food tray. Hmm. Large, Large bowl. bowl. Small bowl for soup, maybe. Got something wrong. There we go. Single place setting. No others on the table. Oh, he's the caretaker. Probably has the food platter. Perfect match. Oh, this is probably for the large one. I think this was yours. Again. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. Yeah, I can but the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. As ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. Olgir von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at 
our journey's end. Curator of nightmares. Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Well, I don't fucking like the sound of that. <laughs> My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Gear. My god, where am I? Ow! Ow! What are these things? Oh! Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna go real well. Oh, dude, I gotta fight another one of these fucks, man. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, my bad. Oh. God, I am I'm so happy that I'm, like, OP right now. Oh, what the? That's cheating, dude. Oh shit, there's two. Okay, maybe I'm not so OP. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Um, you know what? What the... What can I drink here? I'm just trying to see what decoction I can drink, or decoction. my attack power per hit until the end of the fight so this will be a nice one however <laughs> I need to put this one on I want to save the superior one well actually and um nah we'll save that one probably just this one what is this? Uh, 20. Okay, so it should be okay to... I'm at 90 right now. What the fuck? Why am I not hurting it? One? Oh, I thought I died. <laughs> oh, dude, it was my, it was the reflecting back thing that helped that. So 
Well, that was Iris's greatest fear. What? The fuck? You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. Do you have to be creepy though? Can we, can we just not be creepy? That would be great. <laughs> mm, are we gonna talk on your bed? Mm. I'm just kidding. That was that's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird. I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Wait, we met before? Saw you before. Oh. But you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. Uh, Geralt of Rivia. I have bad dreams. That mm. is all I know. What's your Blaviken? At your service. I have come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time, I dried it and placed it in our chamber, at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. Oh my god. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Why do you give a shit? Yeah, Olgird doesn't deserve your concern. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontor Odin. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, uh, how is my husband? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, what do I want to say here? <sighs> I'll say two. Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. Hearts of Stone. And did... <laughs> did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Yeah, he's mentioned you a lot, actually. Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Um, I need that. Uh, can I have that, please? Don't walk away from me. Don't you walk away from me! Late. Oh, oh I guess we're just, okay, we're just going up here. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> ah, I like how I'm just all fucking potioned out. <laughs> Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. 
The world around me turns real. And I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. And where I was. A uh. friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. Choices, choices. I don't want her to suffer. She's just suffering here, right? So it's binding her here, but if I, if, if in fact it does release her from her suffering, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received mm, it. I don't really see crimson there, but. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. Who the fuck? Is Gaunter Odim, man? I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. But yes, easy choice, I agree. Take the rose. Hopefully her suffering will end. That was kind of the goal. But yeah, who the fuck is the man of glass? Gauntro Dim. Like, he can literally do anything he wants. Control time, fucking... Literally, he, literally anything he wants to do, he can do. It's like he's the DM of a... Uh, he's like, it's like he's the DM of this world. <laughs> like, I'm serious. He's like the dungeon master of this world. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. And the man of glass, dude, like, like this, bro. This guy right here is fucking insane. This guy. This, who, what is he? What is he? What? What is he? What? I, I just don't know. I don't know. Oh shit, I got extra fast travel. My bad, yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, that was more of a rhetorical question. Wait, how the fuck 
figure it out. It was more of a rhetorical question because I don't think anybody knows. How do I get out of here? Oh, right here. Sure, you meet him fast. I've already met him three three times. He's the in the beginning of this game. He is the guy in the inn that Geralt meets that tells him where Yennefer is. In the beginning of the game. That's him. And then he also meet and then he also comes to you on the ship of this DLC. But yeah, that's why I was just like, "Oh my god, he's the one that you meet in the beginning of the fucking game when he tells you where Yennefer is." <laughs> and then I'm like, "Okay." That's fucking crazy, dude. Why can I not call my horse? Hello? Oh, there we go. Hey, Doc. Did I already start her? Yeah, this is Hearts of Stone. I think I'm almost done with it. I just went through the Von Everick estate and did that into the painting and everything. Um, but, okay, I actually had a sword from which two beside him. Faster. What, wait, the guy had a, what guy? Gaunter? Wait, what, well, which guy had the sword? In the wait, which are two or which are three? Move it. Wait, where am I going? Fuck. Go to the fucking waypoint thing. Oh, man, I traveled way away from that, didn't I? Holy fuck, I did. Oh my god. Oh, sword model from Witcher 2 when you meet him in White Orchard. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, like, I. So, so you meet him right away in the Witcher. In the beginning of Witcher 3, and it's like. Um. And it's like, oh, okay. Okay, you know where you know where wait Yennefer is. Cool, or you know how to get to her. All right, cool. Then all of a sudden you meet him in this one. And it's like it just fucking opens up. Like, what is this guy? And why can he do just whatever he wants? Literally, he thinks it. He can do it. <laughs> it's like um, hmm. Disappears mysteriously. <laughs> yeah, he and he, he appears mysteriously too. He just. <laughs> Can do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't know what he is. A djinn? Uh, uh, fucking creature from a different dimension? I don't know. Redania. He's just not, like, I don't know what he is. <laughs> not a headache again. crazy. Two points. Ever done this DLC? About it. Uh, yeah, neither have I. Yes, sir. A bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Geralt! Over here! Oh my fucking god. Well, here he is! <laughs> Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. There he is! Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Oh, see? Like, this shit! <laughs> he just froze time. Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I seriously, this guy is the dungeon master of this world, of the Witcher universe, I swear. Like, Show off. <laughs> of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. 